Have you ever wondered what lurks in the darkest depths of our oceans? It's a world that remains largely unexplored, a world that is so alien to us, it might as well be another planet. This is the realm of the deep sea, an environment so extreme, so inhospitable, that it makes the Sahara Desert look like a tropical paradise. We're venturing into the abyssal zone today, folks. This is the part of the ocean that starts roughly 2,000 meters below the surface and extends all the way down to the ocean floor. It's a place where the sun's rays can't reach, where the water pressure is about 200 times greater than at sea level, and where temperatures hover just above freezing. Now you might think that such a harsh environment would be devoid of life, but you'd be wrong. The abyssal zone is teeming with a wide array of organisms, from tiny microbes to gargantuan creatures that seem straight out of a science fiction novel. But studying these organisms is no easy task. Imagine trying to study an animal that lives in complete darkness under crushing pressure and in icy cold water. It's like trying to understand a creature from another planet without ever leaving Earth. The challenges are enormous. The extreme pressure can crush most submersibles like a soda can. The near freezing temperatures can freeze equipment and the complete darkness makes it difficult to see anything, let alone study it. Yet, despite these challenges, scientists have managed to uncover some of the secrets of the deep sea. And what they've found is nothing short of astonishing. The abyssal zone is home to a dizzying array of life forms, each more bizarre and fascinating than the last. But among these creatures, there is a group that stands out, a group of organisms that defy our understanding of what life can be. These are the abyssal giants, the largest creatures of the deep sea. In these hostile conditions, some of the most fascinating and mysterious creatures of our planet thrive, the abyssal giants. So who exactly are these abyssal giants? Well, let's dive in, shall we? Abyssal giants are extraordinary creatures that call the deepest parts of our oceans their home. These are not your usual marine life. They are the titans of the sea, the behemoths that dwarf most other underwater creatures. They are the stuff of legend and lore, yet as real as you and me. One of the most famous abyssal giants is the giant squid. This elusive creature, with its eight arms and two long tentacles, can grow up to 43 feet in length. That's about the length of a school bus, its eyes, the size of dinner plates, are the largest in the animal kingdom. This helps the giant squid navigate and hunt in the pitch black depths of the ocean. Then we have the giant isopod, a creature that resembles a bug straight out of a science fiction movie. Its body covered in a hard shell can grow up to one and a half feet long. Just imagine a sea bug the size of a small dog. Unlike the giant squid, the isopod is a bottom dweller, scuttling along the ocean floor in search of food these creatures thrive in a world that is largely unknown to us. The abyssal zone, their habitat, extends from about 13,000 to 20,000 feet below the ocean's surface. It's a world of perpetual darkness, bone-crushing pressure, and frigid temperatures. Yet these giants have adapted to survive and even thrive in these extreme conditions. The giant squid and the giant isopod are just two examples of the abyssal giants. There are countless others, each with their unique characteristics and adaptations, waiting to be discovered in the ocean's depths. They are a testament to the incredible biodiversity of our planet, and a reminder that there are still mysteries to be solved, and new worlds to be explored right here on Earth. So, the next time you gaze out at the vast expanse of the ocean, remember, beneath those waves lie incredible creatures that defy our understanding of life on this planet. These are not mythical beasts, but real-life giants dwelling in the abyss, how do these giants survive in such extreme conditions, you may ask? Well, the answer lies in their incredible adaptations. Let's start with the pressure. The deep sea is an environment of extremes, where the pressure can be over a thousand times greater than at sea level. But the abyssal giants have evolved to withstand this crushing force. Their bodies are mostly soft and flexible, allowing them to compress under pressure without damage. Some even have bodies that are largely composed of water, which is virtually incompressible, thus providing a natural resistance to the extreme pressure. Now let's talk about the cold. The temperature in the deep sea hovers just above freezing. But again, these giants are not deterred. They've developed slow metabolisms to conserve energy in this frigid environment. Some of them have antifreeze proteins in their blood to prevent ice crystals from forming. It's a chilly existence. But these giants have adapted to make the best of it. And then there's the darkness. The deep sea is a world without sunlight. But the abyssal giants have found ways to cope. Many have large, sensitive eyes that can detect the faintest glimmers of light. 
Others have evolved to produce their own light through a fascinating process called bioluminescence. They use this light to lure prey, communicate, and even confuse predators. Finally, food is scarce in the deep sea, but the abyssal giants are resourceful. Many are opportunistic feeders eating whatever they come across. Some have large mouths and expandable stomachs allowing them to consume prey larger than themselves. Others have long, slender bodies designed for fast surprise attacks on their prey. These giants are not just surviving in these extreme conditions, they are thriving. They have turned challenges into opportunities using their unique adaptations to conquer the deep sea. These giants are truly masters of survival in one of the harshest environments on Earth. What do these enormous creatures eat in a place where food is scarce? That's a question that has perplexed marine biologists for decades. Let's dive right in. The diet of abyssal giants is a study in survival and adaptation. These behemoths of the deep have perfected the art of scavenging. They feed on everything from the carcasses of whales that have sunk to the sea floor to the remnants of smaller creatures that have reached the end of their life cycle. You might think of them as the waste management team of the deep sea, ensuring that nothing goes to waste. But scavenging isn't their only trick. Abyssal giants are also adept hunters when the opportunity arises. They've been known to prey on squids, fish, and even other deep-sea giants. Their large size and slow metabolism allow them to go for long periods without food, making the most of every meal they manage to catch. In the deep sea, food doesn't come easy, and these creatures have developed some truly remarkable adaptations to ensure they don't miss a meal. For instance, some species have evolved to have extremely large mouths and expandable stomachs. This allows them to consume prey larger than themselves, maximizing their food intake with each successful hunt. The diet of these giants is not just about survival, but also plays a significant role in maintaining the balance of the deep sea ecosystem. By feeding on carcasses, they recycle nutrients back into the environment. This contributes to the survival of other deep sea organisms, creating a cycle of life that operates even in the harshest of conditions. So what do these enormous creatures eat in a place where food is scarce? The answer is a bit of everything. They're the ultimate opportunists, taking full advantage of any food source they can find. Their feeding habits are a testament to the incredible adaptability of life, demonstrating that even in the most extreme environments, life finds a way to thrive. In the deep sea, every meal counts. Why should we care about these deep sea giants? Might be the question on your mind. And it's a good one. Abyssal giants, these enormous creatures of the deep, play a crucial role in maintaining the marine ecosystem's balance. They're like the gardeners of the sea, helping to regulate biodiversity. Abyssal giants consume a wide variety of organisms and by doing so, they control the population of certain species, preventing any one species from dominating. This balance is crucial for the health of the ocean's ecosystem. However, these gentle giants face threats due to human activities. Overfishing, pollution, and climate change are all factors that can potentially disrupt their habitat and, consequently, the balance they help maintain. So the next time you marvel at the vast expanse of the ocean, remember that beneath those waves, abyssal giants are working tirelessly, ensuring the delicate balance of life beneath the surface remains intact. The abyssal giants are not only fascinating, but also vital to the health of our oceans. So, what have we learned about the abyssal giants? Well, we've delved into the fascinating world of these incredible creatures, who call the unfathomable depths of the ocean their home. These giants have developed unique adaptations to survive in one of the most extreme environments on our planet. They possess specialized features like bioluminescence and pressure-resistant bodies to navigate and thrive in the deep sea. We've also learned about their diverse diet, which includes everything from small marine animals to decomposing matter that falls from the surface. This reveals their critical role in maintaining the health and balance of the marine ecosystem by recycling nutrients and providing food for other creatures. We've discovered that these abyssal giants are not just fascinating creatures of the deep, but essential components of our planet's biological diversity. Their existence demonstrates the resilience and adaptability of life in the most challenging conditions. As we continue to explore the depths of our oceans, who knows what other giants we might uncover in the abyss?